Hello everyone, welcome to A+. This video is the second part of health beliefs and health behaviors. Today I'm going to talk about two models that health psychology uses to implement and change towards a new, healthier behavior. These models are called stage models of behavior. As his name mentions, stage models, the process of changing your behavior is based in stages. These models are the stages of change model and the health action process approach. The stages of change model, also known as the transtheoretical model of behavior change, was originally developed by James Prokaska and Carlo Di Clemente. This model assists an individual's readiness to act on a new healthier behavior and provides the strategies or processes of change to guide the individual. Components of the stages of change model Pre-contemplation, not intending to make any changes. Contemplation, considering a change. Preparation, making small changes. Action, actively engaging in a new behavior. Maintenance, sustaining the change over time. These stages, however, do not always occur in a linear fashion, simply moving from 1 to 5. And the theory describes behavior change as dynamic and not all or nothing. For example, an individual may move to the preparation stage and then back to the contemplation stage several times before progressing to the action stage. Furthermore, even when an individual has reached the maintenance stage, they might slip back to the contemplation stage over time. The model also examines how the individual weighs out the costs and benefits of a particular behavior, which is referred to as decisional balance. This means individuals at different stages of change will differently focus on either the cause of the behavior. For example, stopping smoking will make me anxious, or the benefits of the behavior by stopping smoking will improve my health. For example, a smoker at the action stage, I have stopped smoking, and the maintenance stage, it's been 4 months, tends to focus on the favorable and positive feature of the behavior. I feel healthier because I have stopped smoking, whereas the smokers in the pre-contemplation stage tend to focus on the negative features of the behavior. It will make me anxious. Central to any stage model in the position that the stages are qualitatively different to each other, for the stages of change, this means that the decisional balance of person at the preparation change will be different to the decisional balance of someone at the action stage. Use of the stages of change If we use this model to stop smoking, the model will suggest the following sets of beliefs and behaviors at the different stages. Pre-contemplation I am happy being a smoker and intend to continue smoking. Contemplation. I've been coughing a lot recently, perhaps I should think about stopping smoking. Preparation. I will stop going to the pub and will buy lower tar cigarettes. Action. I have stopped smoking. Maintenance. I have stopped smoking for 4 months now. This individual, however, may move back in size at any stage. Support for the stages of change. The stages of change model has been applied to several health-related behaviors such as smoking, alcohol use, exercise and screening behavior. It is also increasingly used as a basis to develop interventions that are tailored to a particular stage of the specific person concerned. For example, a smoker who has been identified as being at the preparation stage will receive a different intervention to one who has at the contemplation stage. There is also some criticism of the stages of change model. The stages of change has recently been criticized for the following reasons. Changes between the stages may happen so quickly as to make the stages unimportant. Interventions that have been based on the stages of change model may work because the individual believes that they are receiving special attention, rather than because of the effectiveness of the model per se. Most studies based on the stages of change use cross-sectional designs to examine differences between different people at different stages of change. Such designs do not allow conclusions to be drawn about the role of different causal factors at the different stages. For example, people at the preparation stage are driven forward by different factors than those at the contemplation stage. Experimental and longitudinal studies are needed for any conclusions about causality to be valid. The concept of a stage is not simply one that includes many variables. Current behavior, quit attempts, intentions to change at times since quitting, perhaps these variables should be measured separately. The model focuses on conscious decision making and planning processes. Further, he assumes that people make coherent and stable plans. 
Now let's talk about the second model, which is the Help Action Process Approach. The Help Action Process Approach is another stage model of help beliefs and help behavior, and was developed by Ralph Schwarzer following his review of the literature, which highlighted the need to include the temporal element in the understanding of beliefs and behavior. In addition, it emphasized the importance of self-efficacy as the determinant of both behavioral intentions and self-reports of behavior. The Help Action Process Approach includes several elements from the social community mission models and attempts to predict both behavioral intentions and actual behavior. Components of Health Action Process Approach The main novel component of Health Action Process Approach is the distinction between a decision-making, motivational stage and an action maintenance stage. Therefore, the model adds a temporal and process factor to understanding the relationship between beliefs and behavior and suggests that individuals initially decide whether or not to carry out a behavior, the motivation stage, and they make plans to initiate and maintain this behavior, the action phase. According to the health action process approach, the motivation stage is made out of the following components. Self-efficacy. I am confident that I can't stop smoking. Outcome expectancies. Stopping smoking will improve my health, which has a subset of social outcome expectancies. For example, other people want me to stop smoking. If I stop smoking, I will gain their approval. Threat appraisal, which is composed of beliefs about the severity of illness and perceptions or individual vulnerability. According to Health Action Process Approach, the end result of the process is an intention to act. The action stage is composed of cognitive, volitional, situational, and behavioral factors. The integration of these factors determines the state to which a behavior is initiated and maintained via the self-regulatory processes. The cognitive factor is made out of action plans. For example, you offer a cigarette when I am trying not to smoke, I will imagine what the heart will do to my lungs. And action control, for example, I can survive being offered a cigarette by reminding myself that I am a non-smoker. These two cognitive factors determine the individual's determination of will. The situational factor consists of social support, for example, the systems of friends who encourage non-smoking and the absence of situational barriers. For example, financial support to join an exercise club. Swarcer argued that health action process approach bridges the gap between intention and behavior and emphasizes self-efficacy, both in terms of developing the intention to act and also implicitly in terms of the cognitive stage of action stage, whereby self-efficacy promotes and maintains the action plans and action control, therefore contributing to the maintenance of the action. He maintained that health action process process approach enables a specific predictions to be made about causality and also describes a process of belief whereby behavior is the result of a series of processes. Support for the health action processes approach The individual components of health action process approach have been tested providing some support for the model. In particular, Schwarzer claimed that self-efficacy was consistently the best predictor of behavioral intentions and behavior change for a variety of behaviors such as the intention to use dental flow frequency of flossing, effective use of contraception, drug addicts' intentions to use clean needles, intentions to quit smoking, and intentions to adhere to weight loss programs and exercise. As we know, not all health models are perfect. There is some criticism of the health action process approach. A individual's conscious processes of information or are they influenced by social and environmental factors? Health psychology attempts to adjust these factors with the social cognition models, which we will cover in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like what you watch, please like and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!